10 easy plants to grow for your first time gardeners growing up a garden provides more tasty nutrients treats good for your overall being growing your plants whether to eat them or merely enjoy their beauty the job of the tending to your plants improve physical health as it is an excellent way to exercising and it shows that spending time with nature reduces stress so today we are going to share 10 easy plants to grow for the first time gardeners if you want your hands to be dirty and start growing your food Check out these 10 plants that don't need a green thumb expert. Moreover, we will give you some bonus facts for better green results in your garden by common FAQs with answer at the end of the video. So stay with us till the end of the video. Live plants are a great way to live in up any room from your office to your bathroom fast and expensive. And contrary to popular belief, even for people who don't think they have green thumbs, there are quite a few house plants out there are very easy to grow. Here are 10 easy plants to grow for the first time gardeners. Number 1. Pansies These flowers are difficult to kill. Pansies are robust enough to withstand winter temperature is most part of the United States. More than 200 types of pansies including some bread primarily for very hot or very cold conditions and the best time to plant pansies is when the soil temperature is about to 50 degree to 60 degree but you can place yours in early spring as well you can buy fully grown plants at the most gardening shops and deposit them directly to the ground if you intend to produce any seed in moist soil from 7 to 12 inches apart. Pansies do well under direct sunshine under cold and climate. If you live in a warm state, give the flowers some shade and plant them. Strategically, they can spend 3 to 5 hours a day in the shadow and make sure they get an inch of water per day. Number 2 Bush beans. Bush beans are the most common beans for home gardeners by far. They grow on compact bushy plants so no stakes, poles or trillies are required. Only plant and you will have a tasty crop ready to pick and eat in even 2 to 8 weeks. Plant bush beans every 2 weeks and all summer long you will have fresh beans on your table and enough to freeze our winter can. Number 3 Spinach it's swift to grow spinach, making it a perfect crop for the first time gardeners. In the warm weather, like every spring and the fall, this fast growing plant yields several leaves. In warmer climate, it tolerates a cold temperature, even blow breezing, and can overwinter. You can know that when it looks large enough to eat, it is ready to choose. Number 4 Basil. Basil and tomatoes make a great combination in spaghetti sauces and the two plants can help each other grow in your garden. According to both amateur and experienced gardeners, basil acts as a natural bug repellent, keeping off unwanted insects that would otherwise consume their herb or much on your tomato fruit. Some also believe that somehow planting the two next to each other gives the tomatoes a much better taste. The basil grow in the garden requires plenty of sunshine and should arrange accordingly. Seeds should plant at least 12 inches apart 6 weeks before the final first come along. Water them lightly if the soil feels dry and you will have a safe plant that will continue to give you a delicious leaf summer long. Number 5. Sunflower if you are hungry for their seeds or want to look at them, sunflowers are the perfect choice for gardeners for very first time. In the way of fertilization, they don't require much. They can survive in all but the soggy soil and they are exceptionally good at weathering throughouts. These flowers do require clear, unimpeded sunshine. As the common name suggests, push yours out into the open and make sure keep them away from any other plant you might be growing as a row of tall sunflowers will cover the, the neighboring veggies with unwanted cover. Wait until the last 4 days or to pass in the spring to get started and plant your seeds in 1 inch holes then for better results. Place these at least 6 inches apart or up of the 24 inches if you are dealing with a large spices. Number 6 is Radishes 
an ideal cool weather crop that reddish provide the spicy wills during the spring and the autumn chiller month. Arrange the seeds in half an inch of loose wet and well lit soil at least one inch apart. They will grow fast. Some radish may be ready for harvest just 22 days after planting, but up to 70 other varieties may be required if you start to spot leaves by poking up every other radish, thin out the line. A new row can plant every in the spring or late summer, depending on when you decide to dig up and eat your vegetables. If you start to spot your leaves plunking every other radish, thin out the line, a new row can be planted every in the spring or late summer, depending on when you are decided to dig up and eat your vegetables. Number 7 is Marigolds. As for flowers growing, marigolds certainly fall in the category of foolproof. Please wait until after the spring forests have ended with planting their seeds. Just about any bending time will suit them. Also, moist, well-drained soil are perfectible. Ascensions of marigold typically get their organs by buying them into the packets. These come with the unique spacing instructions and other subjects. Cover all the fields with a small amount of dirt. Don't let the soil get too dirty and remove some of the seedlings. You will get colorful flowers in exchange for this merge effort to stick around until the football season. Number 8. Zucchinis not only are zucchinis super easy to grow, but they are incredibly prolific as well. Your garden will be churning out enough with a few short weeks to feed a small army. To get going to some points between early spring and midsummer, dig a row of each deep holes in the earth. The depression should be the distance about 3 feet in each garden, 2 or 3 seeds house. Please make sure the dirt is warm and I'll always keep it moist. You can start harvesting 6 to 8 weeks later and because new zucchinis are sprouting to place the pulse squatches you will soon to getting quite a yield on your hands. A solitary plant can generate 10 pounds worth in a single season. Number 9. Salad Greens You can grow mixed greens pretty much anywhere even on a windowsill. Lettuce is a cool weather crop that can cultivate in the post spring and fall. It doesn't matter to crowd, so grab a pot and generously sprinkling those seeds in. When some leaves are large enough to eat, thin the crop out, then continue to snip the leaves as needed until the plants bolt. Send up stalks of the flowers. If you feel ambitious, then save it for the summer. Number 10 is Broccoli Wrap Broccoli Rabbit is another cool seasonal easy vegetable that deserve a place in your garden. The only thing new gardeners need is to be aware that bold and very fast to harvest as soon as you see the burrs appear, cutting about 5 inches below the burrs. A new shoot will grow near the rest of the stem and that can also harvest. Plant in very spring and fall and have fun. Now it's time to offer the bonus facts. Here are 5 FAQs on easy plants to grow. Number 1. What is different or unique about plants? Land plants are multiple spices that can by several characteristics can be differentiated from other living things. They make their food. Plants are photosynthetic and contain chlorophyll, a green pigment, a green pigment that allows plants to convert energy from the sun into food. Number 2. What vegetables can I grow in the shade? Most vegetables will not grow well in entirely shared areas, but few will be more tolerant than others. Lettuce and peas can do well in the partial shade in the summer months. Number 3. What is the best way to control weeds? Prepare the bed by securing no weeds before planting. Plant with a 3 inches straw layer around the plants, and now and then you will always need to wet. Number 4. What time of the day do plants grow in the most? The majority of the plants grow more at the night and in the evening, although plants absorb energy during the daytime. The synthesis of the new tissues is often best achieved at night as the condition then allows heat, stress, and water loss to avoid. Number 5. Do plants like to be touched? 
Your plants obviously really hate when you approach them. A recent study carried out by the La Robe Institute for Agriculture and Food found most plants are susceptible to contact and even a light touch can significantly impede their growth. It is easy to grow indoor plants for the first time or at any time. As long as you select plants, they are easy to grow. Once you get good at it, branch off some plants which are challenging to continue growing. Good to take care of those and start any other sterile plant. Keep until you can keep every plant alive and grow well. Hope you will get the some idea about gardening plants.